Topic number three is about the baryonite system or the prefix PU is used, which account for baryonite. Any baryonite quantity is equal to the actual value over the base value. And it is dimensionless. Because the actual value and the base value has the same unit, so they call it per unit. For example, if we choose the base current I base equal to 50 ampere and uh, the actual current that has been drawn by the system is 30 ampere, then the per unit I per unit will equal to the actual over the base value which is equal to 0.6 per unit now we will apply this concept into single phase circuits in single phase circuits which shows voltage base equal to VB and the uh, volt ampere base as voltage ampere base and we choose the base then the base current this is the apparent power which is S base then the base current and base impedance can be found directly from these two base quantities base current is the voltage base volt ampere base divided by, by voltage base and for impedance it's the voltage base over the I base now substitute this equation into this equation it gives us V base over volt ampere base divided by, by V base and this equal to voltage base square over volt ampere base thus we obtained from these two basic base quantities the other two base quantity which is the current and the impedance Now, the, uh, the per unit impedance for uh, any uh, circuit is the actual impedance divided by the, the base impedance. So the actual impedance divide by the base impedance which is this one thus it will be multiplied by volt ampere base over the voltage base square and this is often used to, in, to find the per unit value of the that component in the power system But 
sometimes instead of using the base quantities for these values we find the per unit system of any component in the power system as the base impedance multiplied by the mega volt ampere base means the apparent power in mega mega volt ampere divided by the kilovolt base squared so the voltage is taken in kilovolt and the apparent power is taken in megavolt and there. This is what has been used in the power system analysis. This is for single phase and let's say this is equation number one. Now, what about the per unit system? for three phase circuits for three phase circuits the base current is equal to from this law S base is equal to root 3 V base I base thus the base current is equal to if this one is in megavolt ampere and this one in kilovolt thus it will be the S which is the megavolt ampere base divided by root 3 multiplied by the kilovolt base and this since we made this one mega we should add multiplied by thousand to indicate We add this term, the thousand multiplied by the megavolt ampere base over the root three of kilovolt base base to make the equation valid. Now, what about the base impedance? The base impedance will be. Same thing, since the voltage base is equal to root 3 I base multiplied by Z base, this volt is in kilovolt base divided by multiplied by a thousand. divided by row 3 I base now substitute the value of this base current in this equation it will become 1000 multiplied by the kilo volt base divided by root 3 multiplied by 1000 divided by the megavolt and their base over root 3 kilovolt base So the row 3 will go with the row 3 and 1000 will go with 1000. Thus it will be the kilovolt base square divided by MVA base.
and from this we found that the base impedance the base impedance for a three phase system and the single phase system is the same single phase uh, system and three phase system the base are identical to each other and this is very good advantage using the period system where we don't need to use the root 3 factor when we uh, go from 3 from a start to delta or delta to start uh, power system where we have the transformer to make the calculation very easy now uh, we want to find the period system of a uh, three phase circuits it will be the same the actual value multiplied by the uh, MVA base divided by the kilovolt base square it's the same as in single phase circuit they are identical to each other topic 4 is uh, about the change in base quantities since in a, an interconnected power system such as in this one such as in this one we have different components with, with different base MVA and base kilovolt thus and each, uh, each base quantities of each component is given in its or it's uh, given and specified in its rated values means the generator MVA and kilovolt base are given in its rated value also this transformer in its rated value even the loads thus it is practical to or convenient to have a common base for all the system for example if this generator is 20 in VA base in VA this one is for example this uh, transformer is uh, 150 in VA for example and this one is 80 in VA just an example it is convenient to take a common base let's say a hundred in VA thus this va the per unit value of the impedance of each component will change because the per unit value of each component is given in the name plate when it's rated in VA thus we will change it on this new MVA and there is a mathematical uh, equation and that uh, illustrates the uh, solution we will write Z old the old per unit value of uh, that certain component is the actual impedance multiplied by MVA base volt over KV base square volt 
and the new M MVA for this the new impedance in per unit for the same component into the the new chosen pace is the same actual impedance the actual but multiplied by the base apparent power which is the new one the common for all the system multiplied by the k kilovolt square base which is the new or the common kilo uh, volt that has been chosen for the system thus if you want to know the new per unit impedance from the old per unit impedance we add the following z in ohm will equal to z per unit old multiplied by k v k v base square old over m v a base old then substitute this one here and this will give me the new per unit which is add instead of this one this value z per unit volt multiplied by kilovolt base square volt divided by the kilovolt base mu multiplied by the MVA base mu which is this one divided by the MVA base old which is this one in the denominator and this is very very important I hope it's very clear.